What's up guys, it's been a long two weeks since my last review, but welcome back to NZ Toy Reviews, you're kicking it with Kiwi Cons. Today, we're going to be looking at the massive upright 32 inch arcade cabinet by NZ Spaces. I picked this one up the other day and just like always, we're going to be looking at three things. Packaging, quality, most importantly, the price. So let's do this thing. So the first thing on the list, packaging now remember guys all nz toy reviews are aimed at adults because we like to use sharp things like knives and scissors on this channel from time to time so just bear that in mind so let's grab my trusty army knife and yo let's do this thing Here we have it, the external and internal packaging. As you can see, it's quite a mountain of protection and that's a good thing for us. So I had a look around the cabinet. There were no scratches, no bumps or bruises anywhere. So you know when this thing is getting shipped to you via van delivery, it's in good hands. Yo, NZ Spaces, you guys did an awesome job looking after my cabinet. Let's move on now to quality. Next up on the list is quality. We're going to do two sides of quality this time. So we're going to do the exterior of the arcade and the interior of the software. So let's get a closer look on the exterior of the front sides and around the back of the arcade. At the top, we have the Street Fighter 2 Red Lightning Marquee. Around the screen, we have the Street Fighter 2 Red Lightning Bezel. And at the bottom, we have our man Blanca looking after the coin mech. We also got a big base too. That's a built-in riser. And on the left-hand side, we have the Blue Lightning Street Fighter 2 Ryu performing the Hadouken. Man, this artwork is tight. I love it. And on the right-hand side, there's Dojo Brother in Arms, none other than Ken Masters. Red Lightning Street Fighter 2 as well. Let's go. Okay, now let's get a closer look of our coin mech here. So you get a key. Just pop it open we can replace the coin there as well to any size that you like 10 cents 20 cents 50 cents and we have a huge bucket to hold thousands and thousands of coins as well let's lock this thing up i also want to get one of these huge padlocks that they used to have on the arcades back in the days now for this demonstration we're going to use one dollar and two dollar coins but you can put in any size man i mean put a 10 cent coin you can have 10 cent credits. Back in the day when I was a kid, all that you'll see in front of my arcade is just 20 cent coins up and down the front of the arcade. It's just saying, hey, get out of here, man. It's my game. So let's take a look around the back. This thing stands about 5'7 as well. It's huge. So you have some hand spaces for you to grab onto and you have your power lead at the bottom it is quite short but you do get a two meter lead in the pack you get four square head screws to unscrew if you want to make any modifications to the computer the coin mech or even the bucket that holds all the coins that's pretty cool but that's pretty much the back of the cabinet guys moving on extra peripherals you get your two meter extension lead to plug at the back of the arcade and you get your remote to turn on the TV. A little bit of a mix up with my one, but they shipped out my brand new remote the very next day on the van. Thanks for that guys, really appreciate it. So let's plug this thing in at the back, turn the TV on, and let's get into the demo. Finally, here we are at everyone's favorite part of the video, the demo. Before we jump into a game real quick, we'll talk about the control panel. So we have Sanwa sticks, and Sanwa buttons on both player two and player one sides of the control panel. Back in the day, we used to use MCA sticks and MCA buttons. I still love those buttons and sticks. Nevertheless, these are still all good as well. They're gonna do the trick and I asked if I could get these and the guys were happy to oblige. So thanks for that guys. How to turn it on. We turn it on at the wall, wait 30 seconds for the computer. Then we use the remote to turn it on from the back. There we have it, the screen turns on, magic. 
we have the massive 32 inch screen tv let's go also on here we have some card games like sega rally daytona stuff like that not really into that i really love my fighting games let's get up in here and have a look we'll go right to the top guys just so we can see the full list of games on hand if you happen to see a game that we scroll across let me know in the comments down below maybe we could do a video for you it'll be kind of cool actually hit me up in the comments down below starting from 005 and on the left hand side we have some box art of each game it just kind of helps you jog your memory you know what i mean it helps you say hey i remember this game yo this is pretty cool let's go all the way down to the bottom now Eighteen hundred games on the system here. Pretty much nearly every arcade game that you can think of from back in the days when you're a kid. Definitely, it should be on here. And there we have it. Without further ado, let's jump into our first game because we have a Street Fighter Two cabinet. We need to play Street Fighter Two. Come on now. So we've already got four credits for free thanks to the guys that set this up. They must have been playing it before me. So let's hit the one player button and let's start this game. Who's better to go than Guile, man? Come on now. Boys that know the tricks, you know why I chose Guile. Let's see if I can do it. Or well, if not, let's see if I can get a perfect at least. For the record, first time in 20 years, Street Fighter 2 World Warrior. Ah, no perfect. If you can see my buttons, you can see what I'm trying to do. And there we have it, the infamous Guile Invisible Throw. Let's go. Okay, now moving into round two, we pulled off Invisible Throw without the MCA joystick, which I would love to play on and prefer, but this can still do the job. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, trying my hardest. Oh, I get the perfect anyway, flawless victory. Nothing better than that besides doing quadruple invisible throw but i won't be on this demo moving on to our next game another favorite game of mine is tekken so let's go with tekken 3. let's put a coin in so we get two creds for one coin that's pretty cool my favorite character on this particular game is my man paul the skill level on this one is pulling off the 10 hit combo or even trying to land the massive power hit so let's see if i can do one or the other oh i'm trying to get it can't land it i love that punch as well i love that two hit combo it's nice and fast somewhat unexpected Yeah, that punch. Love it. 10 hit combo. Come on. Oh, cancels it with a kick. Tries it again. Cancels it with a jab. Oh, I would have had it. If the animation kept going, I would have had it. Moving on to our final game. But today, I won't be able to play it. Because it's a very gruesome game. One of my favorites because we may have some younger viewers if you can guess what it is before i choose it golden medal for you none other than the infamous mortal kombat so yeah as i said guys i won't be playing this game today but that is the demo side of the video guys i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did what can i say love the arcade top to toe back to front love the hardware love the software game so nostalgic just pulling off the old moves hearing the old music you know what i'm saying seeing all the old characters is so good really love it so let's move on now to the price now i picked this one up from nz spaces on tape place in albany for two thousand dollars for this particular cabinet it would have cost me well over 2500 but thanks to my man josh at nz spaces he hooked me up with an awesome deal now i'm saving up again for my next one for this kind of price 
for me, it's well worth the spend, especially with all the added extras he chucked in like a big bass, coin mech, sandwa sticks and buttons, free delivery, list goes on and on and on. All that I can say about that is... So there we have it guys, the massive upright 32 inch RK cabinet by NZ Spaces. Big shout out to Josh, Lawrence and Craig for making it possible. Guys I really appreciate you watching and if you're interested in picking one of these cabinets up, I'll leave links in the description. If you have any other questions or the toys you want me to check out or a game you may have seen that you want to see on the next video, let me know in the comments down below and you know what, I'll see y'all on the next NZ Toy Review. Laters.